Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to run the game Metaphor Refantasio on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you have an M1, M2, M3 or future M4 Apple Silicon Mac, then this is going to be the tutorial for you. So there is no Mac port of this game. In order to play this, we're going to have to be playing the Windows version, which is available on Steam. And this is actually possible using a translation layer called Crossover, which is absolutely fantastic. We can actually run this game through this translation layer and something called Game Porting Toolkit's T3D Metal, and it's going to work fine on the Mac. So in this tutorial today, we're going to be showing you how to install something called Crossover. We're also going to be patching this using CX Patcher in order to get the latest version of D3D Metal. I'm also going to be pairing up a Bluetooth controller as well so you can get this played not just with keyboard and mouse but with controller as well. And we're going to get this game working as well as possible on Apple Silicon hardware. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial, which is what I'm going to be trialing today. Just click this try now button and then scroll down. And all we need to do is enter our email address and name, and then click the download trial now button. So once Crossover is downloaded, we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time. Press open. It might ask you to install Rosetta 2, just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the Codeweavers account. So I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically we're ready to go ahead and use Crossover but the first thing I'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to Crossover. This is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of D3D Metal. At the time of recording that's version 2.0 beta 3. So here we're going to be downloading the latest version of CX Patcher, which I'll be leaving a link in the description. And we're going to be using 0.5.6. And this contains the latest update to Game Porting Toolkit 2.0, which is D3D Metal 2.0 Beta 3. So here, what we're going to do is go to Assets and then download the cxpatcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this. And then we're going to move this into our Applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it and then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened then go to the settings menu here, go to system settings and then go to security and privacy and then scroll down until we find here it says CX Patcher can't be opened, it was blocked to protect your Mac. Click open anyway and here we can close this and press open anyway. Then we're going to type in our password and then log in. That's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the App Store. Type in your password, press okay. So just be aware that of course this is is not a supported method of patching crossover. This really comes at your own risk. Do not ask Code Weavers for support or refund if you're using this method. They will not be able to help you. If you need help from Code Weavers, then you should be waiting for official support, which is probably going to come in the very near future. If you want to be able to use this, you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed. Now CX Patch is ready to use. So we're going to configure some settings first, go to advanced options, and then we're going to be enabling DXVK integrate GPTK. We're going to use a separate bottle path. We're going to be advertising AVX. We're going to be allowing DXVK async, and then we can tweak some of these settings too. So now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So I double click on Crossover. Say so we're going to install Steam. Install. Click Yes here. Accept. And now we're just going to go through the standard Windows setup of Steam. And now that's going ahead and downloading Steam. So make sure to allow any kind of permissions that the bottle requests. And then I also advise turning on D3D Metal and also the M-Sync option and then reboot the bottle. This allows us to run DirectX 11 and 12 games through Crossover. Then we're going to make sure to launch Steam. So here we're going to log in with our Steam account. So if you don't have one already, you can create one for free. So now that we have the Windows version of Steam loaded up, we can go into a library and basically download any game that we have. So once Steam is installed, what you want to be able to do is to go ahead and purchase the Metaphor Refantasio game, or we can actually test this out using the demo. And the progress of the prologue demo actually carries through to the main game itself. So actually, this is a very good test to see whether this is going to be the right method for you getting this game working on a Mac. So I do recommend using the demo first. Also, it's a really good idea to play this game with a controller. So I've got my Xbox Series controller. You can also do this with the PlayStation DualSense controller. I'm going to put my controller into pairing mode by holding down the pairing button here and then the Xbox 
light is going to start flashing. You can also do this on DualSense controller as well. Then we're going to go to system settings and then we're going to go to Bluetooth and then scroll down until under near by devices we see that the Xbox wireless control has popped up here. We're going to press connect and then that'll just take a moment for that to connect and once it's connected the light on the controller is going to go a solid light like that and then that's now paired up. So once the game or the demo is installed and we have our game patched up we're going to go ahead and press the launch button and then play the game. Here we can see that the game has picked up the Bluetooth controller that we've paired and it's all working fine. So here, once we're in the game, I've actually set this up at basically the high graphics quality preset without any kind of frame rate limit. And the game is going to perform very nicely on my MacBook Pro with the M3 Max chip. So here we are in the game itself. We're running at 1080p at the high graphics preset and everything seems to be working fine with all the combat, dialogue, cutscenes, etc. Everything seems to be working. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoy Metaphor Refantasio on the Apple Silicon Mac. I've got lots of other tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check them out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.